guys welcome back to my channel I'm so excited to be back if it's your first time here welcome and on this channel I share my testimonies I share word the Word of God and anything that the Lord really places in my heart so today we're gonna share from the book of Psalms chapter 127 verse 1 and 2 and the Word of the Lord says that unless the Lord builds the house those who build it labor in vain unless the Lord watches over the city the watchman stays awake in vain it is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest eating the bread of anxious toil for the Lord gives rest to his beloved amen amen this word is so powerful and I love how the Lord kind of just stops us sometimes and reminds us that hey this life is not your own. I am doing something in you. The word of God says, behold, I am doing something new. Behold, the old is gone, the new has come. And I just love, I love how God stops us sometimes in life and just reminds us, hey, it's my work. It's not your work. And the word of God is so powerful this day. And he says that unless he builds the house, the laborers labor in vain. Unless he watches over the city, then the watchman stays awake in vain. Unless he is, he, he is with you, unless he is part of the plan, unless he is part of the hard work that you do, then all things are in vain. I don't know what you're building, what house you're building. You could be building your future. You could be building a legacy. You could be building your personality and who you want to become. You could be building a family, a marriage. But the Lord says this day that unless he is included in it, then all that is anxious toil. I personally have fallen short in this area and as a student sometimes you have deadlines coming up you have things that are just really pile up and the semester gets really tough and sometimes we can really get into that routine of working and turning in assignments and just working and working and working and just making sure that we're keeping up with the pace and forget that God has given us this opportunity so that we can glorify him so that we can serve him in these areas so the Word of God is reminding us that unless we give him the glory unless he is sovereign over all things in our day-to-day -day lives then we labor in vain the book of Ecclesiastes says Ecclesiastes 1 verse 3 it says what does man gain by the all the toil at which he toils under the Sun what do we gain by the toil that we told by the toil that we toil <laughs> under the Sun what do we really gain from this hard work that we do I don't know about you but sometimes I stop and I just ask myself why am I working so hard? Why am I trying so hard? Do you ever stop to ask yourself, why do we try so hard? What do we gain from this toil every single day? And the Word of God is saying that when our work is intended to fulfill the purpose to which we were called, the purpose of God, then we will live a lasting impact. Other than that, there is very little gain from our day-to-day -day toil. Book of Corinthians says that, So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who gives growth. He who plants and he who waters are one, and each will receive his wages according to his labor. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's field, God's building. Wow, I love how he says that. Paul, Paul is speaking in this, in this chapter to the uh, Church of Corinthians, um, and he's saying that we are God's fellow workers. Can you imagine that? We are God's fellow workers. Any kind of work that we do without God is really anxious toil. It doesn't have any life in it. It doesn't have any impact. It doesn't have any lasting impact. So the Word of God is telling us that when our work is intended to fulfill the purpose of God, then we leave a lasting impact. And without God, all our works are just dead and anxious toil. What kind of work are you doing? Are you working hard? 
according to the Bible or are you just being anxious toil? Are you working without God? Are you putting yourself and your strength before everything else? Are you putting your strength? Are you relying on your own strength? Are you leaning on your own understanding other than letting God be sovereign over all your works? Because anything that is apart from God is dead. Anything that is without God does not leave a lasting impact. The book of John says that all things were made through him and without him was not anything made that was made. So he's saying that everything was made through him and without him nothing was made. Nothing that exists was made. So the word of God reminds us, put God first. Put God first in your day to day. Seek God in your day to day. I know sometimes our growth becomes stunted and we're wondering, why am I not moving? Why am I not growing? And most of the time it's because we're working and working and working and we're working without God. We are God's fellow workers. When are we going to step in and um, take our spot and claim that spot as God's fellow workers, as God's building, as God's field, that the Lord is working on us. We are God's field. He is working on us. He is tending us. He is tending his sheep. We are God's field. We are God's building, that the Lord is building us, that the Lord is forming us, that the Lord is molding us as clay. And we are also God's fellow workers, that we can go out there and we can participate in God's purpose that we have to understand that God commands human effort God wants you to work God wants you to do great things God has placed in you that spirit that spirit that strengthens you that spirit that empowers you that spirit that helps you to make decisions that spirit that tells you teaches you how to pray teaches you how to be disciplined God has placed that spirit in you and we can only be able to do a amazing things to leave lasting impacts if we come back to God and through his spirit are able to produce works that will leave a lasting impact through his spirit we can be able to know how to maneuver through works I don't know which area you're struggling with which area you have let yourself be the God you have let yourself be the driver what area are you letting yourself or what areas are you thinking that are very small are very little as little as picking an outfit in the morning that you think that God can't reach. The Word of God tells us that unless God is in it, it is dead. Let us be diligent. Let us know that we are God's fellow workers. And in knowing that we're God's fellow workers, then what does that tell us? It tells us that we're well equipped to wake up every day and be strong and participate in the building that God has given us the spirit, the understanding, the knowledge in our day to day to leave lasting impact. So keep working, keep being diligent, but just remember that this work is not for you. This work is not for your own glory. It's for the glory of Jesus. And unless you step into that purpose, unless you understand that all things are to be done for the glory of God, then all your works are dead. Let your purpose be aligned to what God is. If you're still struggling to find out what is it that, that, that God wants me to do, step into His presence. Step into His presence. Get to know who He is. Get to know what He wants you to do so that you're not going day by day working so hard on anxious toil. I hope that this message blesses you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for clicking on this channel. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, like, and share. And until next time,